a disability emergency. The situation for people with disabilities in Ukraine. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Leg Up Ability. Uh, my name is David. Um, through my contact in Brussels, I was able to attend a conference yesterday on the situation for people with disabilities in Ukraine. The majority of speakers at the conference were actual people who worked in, in the disability sector in Ukraine are people with disabilities who live in Ukraine. I won't sugarcoat this. What we heard yesterday in the conference from these speakers is quite harrowing. Ah, uh, they're not good. I'm, I'm sorry, the situation for, in Ukraine in general, but in particularly for people with disabilities, is quite bleak. And if you do anything, please, I implore you to share and like that video, just to get the word out there. There is approximately 2.7 million people with disabilities in Ukraine representing about just only 6%, 5.7% of the Ukrainian pop, total population. Of that, it is estimated that of that 2.7 million people, 82,000 children are in orphanages and institutions within Ukraine. With other um, charities and organisations claiming this is this number is underestimated. At this conference yesterday, we learned firsthand. We learned from the people who were who are there, white on the ground, the problems faced by people with disabilities during this time. And uh, following our uh, highlights of the conference, isn't that nice? I, I've literally seen people in Ukraine close to tears telling us how people are being left abandoned in these institutions, how people with disabilities are trapped in the high-rise apartments during air raids just because there's no lift to get down to the ground. Even if they did get out of their building apartment block, a lot of the farm shelters don't have access for people with disabilities. For example, a lot of people with, a lot of people in Ukraine naturally are hiding in subways and train stations. But only one of them, only one train station in Kiev is wheelchair accessible. Other issues facing people with disabilities are the lack of access to medicine, particularly for people who are suffering from psychological disorders, social anxiety, children with autism, children with cancer. They are not getting the medicine. They don't have access to the medicine that they desperately need to sustain life for the for their condition. There are, I saw a video last night of a mother has to go across the border with her child because her child needs treatment for cancer. 
are no longer available in Ukraine due to the war. There are also cases of decreasing food supplies in general, but for, in particular for people with disabilities. Currently there are no evacuation car corridors for these people to get out of the country. Even, even if they did have a, a way to get out, a lot of these pe people don't have access to transport, to cars to get them out. In the conference I saw a presentation by a lady who runs an organisation that helps people with disabilities. And through COVID, generally like everyone else, they had to work from home and they provided much needed support for children with disabilities online. Just like a lot of people across the world during COVID. Now, people in Ukraine have the added way of lack of internet connection. So if the people don't have the internet connection, these people who provide the services, much needed services, can't even provide it online to these kids and people with disabilities. This is a current situation for well, people with disabilities. One of the most vulnerable groups in our society and the world are facing right now. And if you do anything today, share the video. Show your solidarity to people in Ukraine, but also to the most vulnerable people homeless people, patients, people with disabilities. I also saw another news report yeah, last night of children in one of the leading children's hospitals in Kiev having to put their patients with their children in the basement to protect them from bomb. That was the current situation. And we need to get behind these people. We need to get behind Ukraine. So I will be doing a follow-up video to see what we can do. Because my friends in Brussels um, who are working with the European institutions and the, um, the colleagues in Ukraine are trying to organise an emergency plan of detail of how people can help, our organisation can help. So when I find out more, I will do another video in the next day or so. So please stay tuned to that. This is serious. So please like and share and subscribe. But if anything, get, share this video. Get your word out there. Thanks very much for listening and please again my call for action to like and share it for you. My support and solidarity goes out to the Ukrainian people, but in particular Ukrainian people with disabilities and the people that help them. Thank you. Bye.